When you're gone, how do you want to be remembered? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things Selena the Series Part 2 got right and wrong. Dad, if you're going to say that awards and nominations don't mean anything. It's okay, we already know. I was so excited to see the stars. Selena, you are a star. That doesn't sound like fun. For this list, we're looking at those moments from Part 2 of this Netflix series about the late Tejano singer that had us heading online to decipher fact from fiction. Which of these moments were you most surprised to learn was true? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Eloping with Chris Perez Right. In season 1, it's made pretty clear that Abraham does not approve of Chris and Selena's relationship. Daddy, we didn't do anything! Abraham, come on, man. You don't have to do this. You call somebody who cares. You are not going to destroy everything that I worked for. However, they were determined to be together and, in 1992, decided to elope. In a 2017 Facebook post celebrating what should have been their 25th anniversary, Chris recalled their special day, saying, quote, The only way to be together was to run away and get married in secret. Although they tried to keep their nuptials hidden from the media, news broke pretty quickly. Supposedly, Abraham was initially upset about them getting married like this. However, over time, he learned to accept Chris as part of the family. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Number 9. Work versus Love – Right and Wrong As you might recall, part 1 ended with Abraham firing Chris and kicking him off the tour bus. Dad, you can't fire him! Dad, we're in love! You're not in love. Get on the bus. In season 2, Selena is still dealing with her heartbreak and missing Chris enormously. Eventually, she pours her heart out to Suzette and confesses that she feels like she chose work over love. I sing about true love all the time. And I finally had a chance to have it, and and I got back on the bus. Of course, this conversation might have been fictionalized, but we do know that she missed him enough to turn up at his hotel room one morning in 1992. Reportedly, she insisted on seeing him and told him that she didn't want to live without him. I don't want you to have any regrets. Why well, don't? I don't. And clearly, he felt the same way. Number 8. The Audience Booing Selena's Husband – Right and Wrong In Episode 2, Selena considers whether or not to share the news of her marriage with her fans. Ultimately, she decides to do so during a concert in Monterrey, Mexico. En la guitarra, mi querido esposo. Chris Perez. However, the reception isn't quite how she might have imagined. In real life, while the audience really did boo her husband, the incident didn't occur at a concert. It actually happened during her acceptance speech after winning Female Entertainer of the Year at the 1993 Tejano Music Awards. And, and I'd like to thank my husband. I love you. Happy, wait a minute. If I was married to one of y'all, you wouldn't be booing, right? We can totally understand why the series would choose to include this moment, though. Selena's response is so sassy, but it only makes the audience love her even more. No, Ariel, eso, si estuviera casado con ustedes, no se importa mal conmigo. Number 7. The Veronica Castro Interview – Right and Wrong Earlier in Season 2, Selena and Los Dinos are invited to appear on Ivero America Va, a talk show hosted by famous Mexican star Veronica Castro. Es todo un éxito en México. ¿Cómo te sientes? Ah, estamos muy contentos. Uh -huh. El grupo ayudó con este éxito. They got certain elements of this interview spot on, from the outfits, topics of conversation, and even Selena's gift for the host. Veronica also really didn't know that Chris didn't speak any Spanish and asked why he remained silent. No me digas. O sea que no está entendiendo ni una palabra de lo que le estoy diciendo. <laughs> However, in the series, they use this opportunity to hype up the tension, and Veronica asks about his love life. Porque queremos saber, ¿verdad, muchachas, en el foro si tiene novia, si no tiene novia? It's after this moment that Selena decides to reveal to the concert audience that Chris is her husband. Number 6. 
Selena opens up Selena, etc. Right. In part one, we learn that as well as a sensational singer and performer, Selena is a talented designer too. I've already been designing one. <laughs> It's perfect. In 1994, she fulfilled one of her dreams by opening two boutiques in her home state of Texas. This might literally be the best day of my life. I mean it. Dreamed about this for literally ever. Here, fans could buy clothes and memorabilia, some of which were designed by the singer herself. The boutiques also offered salon treatments too, as we see in the series. Our first customer. <laughs> You don't think it's too short? No! After Selena's tragic passing, the boutiques were kept open in tribute to the icon. However, in 2009, they closed due to the state of the economy. Instead, the family continued to keep the singer's legacy thriving through her music. Number 5. Selena's 1994 Grammy Win Right. This was the year of her Grammy debut, and you can bet that she was excited. In 2021, Suzette, who accompanied her, shared memories of Selena's stunning white gown, which has since become one of her most recognizable looks, and of her disappointment when she was told she couldn't bring her camera to the event. She had the little Polaroid one, the kind that you, uh, not the Polaroid, but the kind that you, the throwaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they didn't let her come in with it, so she was pretty bummed out about that because she wanted to take pictures with everyone. She also shared a story about how Selena didn't seem to realize that she was just as loved as the people who left her feeling starstruck. She was like, oh my god, and she wished she was, wow, they know me here. That night, Selena's album Live won the Grammy Award for Best Mexican American Album. Thank you for having faith in me. Love you, thank you. In 2021, she was also awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award. Number 4. When Beyoncé Met Selena Right. We've actually had this one confirmed by Queen Bee herself. In this short scene, Selena says hello to a young starstruck fan, who is then revealed to be one Beyoncé Knowles. Fans were surprised by this reveal, and instantly wanted to know if it was true. In a 2007 interview with MTV Trace, Beyoncé talked about the encounter, pretty much confirming what we'd seen. I didn't say much to, to Selena because I wasn't a celebrity and I just saw her and said hello and, and kept it moving. Beyonce also talked about the magnitude of Selena's influence on her life and music. Growing up in Texas, I heard her on the radio and I think listening to her album, even though I didn't know exactly what she was singing, it helped me in the studio. The scene left us wondering what might have happened had the two Texas-born legends reunited again once Beyonce became famous. Perhaps they may have even collaborated. Beyonce knows you better learn not to be afraid of people if you ever want to be famous too. Now come on. Number three, her iconic Astrodome performance. Right. In 1995, Selena performed at the Houston Astrodome in what would sadly become her final performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Grammy Award winner Selena. It was during this show that she wore that famous sparkly purple jumpsuit and entered on a horse-drawn carriage like the superstar she was. The multiple night concert made history by breaking ticket sale records three times in a row with an audience of 66,994. This last one was arguably one of her absolute best and really highlighted why Selena is remembered as a phenomenal performer and loved by so many people. We had to stop everything and watch from beginning to end. It's a huge performance. It's one of Selena's most iconic performances. She just did something remarkable that night. Other artists have continued to pay tribute to Selena and this concert ever since. Number 2. Selena Finds Fans in Her Home Wrong. In the final episode, Selena wakes up one morning to find complete strangers in her home. Chris lets them in, believing they were her cousins, only to be met with a rude awakening when she reveals she's never met them before. Hi! Hey. It's so great to meet you. Oh, you too. While there's no evidence that this specific situation may have actually occurred, we imagine the idea here was to show just how famous the Tejano singer was. Okay, you, you know what I think? It's time to move. We're gonna move. It's gonna be great. 
Even though there are strangers in her living room, she's still so gracious and even agrees to take a photo with them before they leave. Okay, uh, smile everybody on three. One, two, three. Yay. This cordial gesture just reminds us why she was so beloved by her fans. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Selena's Death Right. On March 31, 1995, Yolanda Saldivar, who had grown close to the Quintanillas, fatally shot the 23-year-old star. Police gave no motive for the shooting, but Selena's father and manager said he suspected Ms. Saldivar for embezzling money from one of Selena's movies. After embezzlement claims, Selena demanded that Saldivar hand over financial records and went to her motel room to get them. I need my bank statements. I need my records. Do you have them? Yes! My perfume samples, everything. Yes! All of it. This is where the series cuts away and opts not to show much of the tragedy that struck next. Instead, the show decides to focus on the legacy she left behind and the hole she left in the lives of those who loved her so much. Rather than focus on sorrow, the ending celebrates her life and the joy she instilled in all who knew her. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.